Hey River Kids, welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about faith once again. We're going to look at the blessings of living a faithful life. And if you guys stay tuned, you'll be able to understand why these two are being so weird. Anyway, let's get into it. Hey guys, it's game time and we are going to play Heads or Tails. For this game, all you need to do is either choose your head or your tail. And then we're going to flip a coin. And if it lands on heads and you've chosen head, then you will be out. If it lands on tails and you've chosen tails, then you will be out. All right, so choose one, heads or tails. Let's flip the coin. Oh, it landed on tails. So if you chose tails, I'm sorry, you are out. If you chose heads, you can choose again, either choose your head or your tails. Let's flip for another go. Oh, it's tails again. So tails, I'm sorry, you guys are out. Everybody who's still remaining, you can choose again, heads or tails. Let's flip the coin. Oh my goodness, can you believe it? It's tails again. I'm sorry, tails, you guys are out. So if you chose your heads, then you can choose again, heads or tails. Ah, oh, it's heads this time. So if you chose heads, you are out of the game. If you chose tails, you are safe. So let's go on to our final round and see if you can win. So heads or tails? Let's flip the coin. Oh, it is heads. I'm sorry, heads, you guys are out of the game. If you chose tails, then you are safe. If you manage to get all the way through all five rounds, then well done. You have won the game. You can let us know by hashtagging River Kids Rock on social media. All right, guys, we are going to be learning the memory verse for this week, which is the same one as we've been learning a few weeks ago. So this one is from Hebrews 11 verse 1. But instead of just reading it out, we are going to be acting out some of the words. So the memory verse all together before we act it out is, faith means being sure of the things we hope for. And faith means knowing that something is real, even if we do not see it. Hebrews 11 verse one. All right, so let's go over the actions. So the first one is faith. So you're gonna put your hands together like this, like you're praying, you've got faith. So faith means being sure. You're gonna put your hand out, you're like, yes, I'm sure about something. So faith means being sure about the things we hope for. So you put your hands to your chest because you're like, I'm hoping for something. So we're gonna do that again. We've got faith means being sure of the things we hope for. And faith, back to your praying position, means knowing, you're gonna point at your brain because that's where you know stuff, it means knowing that something is real. So you're just gonna to touch yourself because you know that you're most likely real. If you're living and breathing, you're real. So it means that something is real even if we do not see it. Okay, you think you got that? We're gonna go through the whole thing together. Okay, faith means being sure of the things we hope for and faith means knowing that something is real even if we do not see it. And that is from Hebrews 11 verse one. All right, good job guys. That was awesome and now let's get on to our next thing. Please Lord, amen. Um, what were you doing? Oh, I was just praying to God for a cat to fall from the sky onto my lap because um, Mum said that I could only have a kitten if it falls from the sky onto my lap. That will never happen. Cats don't just fall from the sky. No, 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 really. Like, the other week, I got to sit next to my best friend because I prayed to God that I would be able to. And that was just a little thing. And if I keep racking up those little things, soon I'll be able to believe for something bigger. Mmm, are you really that dumb? You really think a cat's just gonna fall from the sky? At least pray for something that's possible. But anything is possible for God, like big or small. Whatever. No, no, really, really, really. Faith is all about believing something will happen, even if you can't see it happening. Like, I believe that this will happen. I can't see it happening ever, but I believe it will. You don't seriously think that the cat's just... <sighs> mummy, mummy, mummy. Mom? We 
we've been looking at faith over the last wee while, and today we're going to learn how faith works in our lives. But first, we're going to read a story that Jesus told about how faith grows in our lives. This story comes from Matthew chapter 13, verse 31 to 32. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. Though it is the smallest of all seeds, yet when it grows, it is the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree so that the birds can come and perch on its branches. I've got some seeds here. They're not mustard seeds, but they are still seeds. The thing with seeds is that they start very small, but over time, they grow into something very big. It's a little bit like that with learning to have faith and trust in God. You start off believing Him for little things and then over time, your faith starts to grow and you can believe Him for big things. We believe for Him to conquer this COVID-19 around the world and even though this bad thing is happening, we can believe that He will work all things together for good. So the Bible is full of stories of people who trusted God even when it looked like what they were hoping to happen wasn't going to end up happening. All right, so I'm curious, have you seen, or is your granddad maybe around 100 years old? Or maybe your grandma, is your grandma around 90 years old? Okay, what about this? Have you ever seen a really, really, really old lady pregnant with a baby? You probably haven't seen that last one, mainly because women eventually reach an age where they can no longer have children. Well, one day, God said to this man named Abraham that he was gonna have a son. But here's the crazy part. Abram was 100 years old and his wife Sarai was 90 years old. So could that happen? Well, we've got a link to a video in the description below. You can go watch the video, come back and join us for the rest of the lesson. I'm sure all of you have learned how to ride a bike before, but when those training wheels came off, you were probably a bit scared and a bit wobbly at first. You might have even fallen off a few times, but you got back on the bike again and after a bit of practicing, riding a two-wheeler became easy. It's like that when God has promised you something. There may be those days when you don't feel like anything's gonna happen and nothing seems to be going right, but an important part of growing in faith is learning to keep on believing. Just keep getting back on the bike and saying, God, I know that you are faithful. What I'm praying for is going to happen if I just keep believing. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that as we continue to trust you, we start to grow in our faith. We grow bigger and bigger, and we can believe that you'll do more and more. Help us to believe that you can do anything, even things that might seem to be impossible for us. And help us to keep trusting you, even in times we feel discouraged and down. We pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Don't forget to comment on our social media using the hashtag RiverKidsRock. All right, guys, it's pop quiz time. So our first question is, how is faith like a mustard seed? Yeah, well the answer to that is, it starts out really small and then it grows over time as we learn to trust God for the smaller things and eventually with the bigger things. All right, question two. Without God, would it have been possible for Sarah to have a baby? No, it would not have been possible because she was pretty old. She was 90. So what allowed Sarah to have a baby? That was God. <laughs> That's right. Okay, question four. Do you believe God can do a big miracle for you too? Well, hopefully you guys all answer with a yes because you surely can. That's right. Now, if you go through times of doubt, that is totally normal. Everyone does. But what should you do to get out of that doubt? Well, as we learned from Jaden, you just keep getting back on that bike and you keep going. You say, God, I know that you are faithful and what I'm praying for is going to happen just if I keep believing. That's right. How did you guys go with the questions? Did you do well? 
hopefully you did, make sure you let us know by using our hashtag RiverKidsRock on social media. For our activity, today we would love to see your drawings about the parable of the mustard seed. Let's remind ourselves of what the parable says. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. Though it is the smallest of seeds, yet when it grows, it is the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree, so that the birds come and perch in its branches. And this is said in Matthew 13, verse 31 to 32. So how are you gonna draw this? We are excited to see your creations. We will show some of these in our upcoming video. So make sure you post them on our social media using the hashtag RiverKidsRock. I'm sure you are all waiting to find out who won this Easter egg. So if you were watching River Kids last week, you will know that I sent you on an Easter egg hunt to try and spot all the hidden Easter eggs in the video. So if you guessed 15 Easter eggs, then you are correct, well done. And your name is in this bucket, ready to see who is the winner. So let's find out. Okay, I'm just gonna swirl it around a little bit. Okay, here goes. Congratulations to Ben Timmerman. You are the winner of this Easter egg. We will send it out to you as soon as we can. But congratulations to everybody else as well who gets 15 Easter eggs. You must have been paying very close attention, so well done. Have an awesome rest of your day and we'll catch you guys next time.